Hello, my name is Pastor David Pranga, and I'm the Executive Pastor here at Brewster Baptist Church. And this week I'll be sharing with you the verse of the day, which happens to be Psalm 19. And Psalm 19 is like one of my favorite psalms of all time. In fact, it's also C.S. Lewis's favorite psalm. And he said, you know, about this psalm, he said, this is a great poem in the book of Psalm, and it's one of the greatest lyrics in the world. So I want to invite you, if you haven't already watched Sunday's sermon, to make sure you watch it. Go to BrewsterBaptistChurch.com and then just click on Messages. And it would be, How Does God Speak to Us? is the message title. Well, today's verse is from Psalm 19, verses 1 and 2. It says, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth the speech. Night after night they reveal his knowledge. Well, as a child, I grew up in northern Wisconsin. Think of Maine, in a small town, and we lived six miles from that town, so at night it was completely dark. It's just very dark, and I love going outside at night and seeing the moon and seeing the stars because they were so bright. And as a kid, I would often see even the, the consonants, and my parents would bring out to me and say, hey, there's the Little Dipper, and so forth like that, and then the Big Dipper. And it just made our universe and the sky so impressive. But did you know that long before the Bible, long before God's Word was written down, God spoke to us through nature. He revealed Himself through the skies, through the moon, through the stars. See, creation is the first revelation of God. It's the first way that he reveals himself to us. See, David, who wrote the psalm, looked towards the heavens and saw the glory of God. And we looked at the skies and everything in it, the moon, the stars, the suns, even the birds that flew. God knew that there had to be a creator. He knew that there must be a God of intelligent design. See, living on Cape Cod, we are blessed. Because we can go outside and we can see the sunset or the sunrise at the beaches. We can walk around Nickerson State Forest and see all the beauty that's there. We can see birds flying in the airs. And we are blessed by so many places that we can even hike on Cape Cod and see God's creation. See, God uses two words to talk about the night sky in these verses. And there two have two critical functions. The first word is heaven. And what does heaven do? The heavens declare the glory of God. And the second word is skies. And the skies proclaim the work of his mighty hands. See, God uses creation as declaring and proclaiming the word of God in a unique way. God is revealing himself to us by creation, which is impressive. But God's not done. He says in verse 2, he says, Day after day, meaning creation, pours forth speech. And night after night, they reveal his knowledge. See, creation continues to praise God every day and every night. God is revealing himself to us. And unfortunately, many of us, we miss it. And why do we miss it? We miss it because we're not looking for it. Or we're too consumed with our life and our activities. And we miss seeing how the creation is declaring and proclaiming the work of God. So here's my challenge for you today. Go out tonight, go out during the day, and just enjoy God's creation. Look at it, meditate upon it, and know that God is revealing himself to you and to me. Well, thanks for joining with me for the verse of the day. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. God bless.